hey guys welcome to coding simplified again and today we will solve a problem where we have uh, a linked list and we want to delete a node from end so like in this example we have a three nodes in a linked list and we want to delete this 37 right so that is our task okay so uh, let's see the program so we have a linked list so uh, in which we have a uh, three nodes 12 99 and 37 and we are printing lists so let me show you first so like right now it is giving me three nodes okay so what i want actually that i want root equals to a dot delete and let's say i want to delete so because uh, i know that i want to delete the end node so i want to give any value here and now give it as root so I don't have any function here so first write a function so let me write function here so this is public node because uh, I want the head node and let's give it as root or node so we need to think that what all cases we can have so we can have let uh, like our linked list is null like in this case root equal to null and uh, we are deleting a node when there is no node right so write a function so let's say uh, this is a delete root so I am writing this one so first I will check that whether if node equals to equals to null and when not equals to equals to null it means our linked list is null it means return null right because there is no point of further processing and this is the one case right and there might be another case when we have only one node so if you have any one node and if you want to delete that node it means what you are what you will return you will return only null right so what you will do if node equals to equals to null and if node dot next equals to equals to null so give it in or condition that in the both the cases sorry in the both the cases you will always return null right because uh, if there is one node or there is no node so it is always safe to return null now now there might be cases where you have already elements like you have two elements or more than one elements right so let's say i have this linked list where i have the three elements i have 12 99 and 37 right so um, let me show you here so i have three element and now i want to delete the last node which is 37 so what i will do i will first reach till this element and when I reach till this element, I will put uh, the next of this to null because the next is pointing to this one. So when next will point to null, it will automatically break the link of 37. Right. So let's write it through code. So go here and put uh, take a temporary node. Right. And let's say run it in while loop that while temp dot next while temp dot next dot next is not null then assign temp equals to temp dot next right and whenever uh, the next of next is not null like uh, you can see here why i have checked temp the next of next of temp because if i'll simply do the temp of next if i'll ch let's say if i check the next of temp is not null it means i will reach till this condition right and and ev even if i give the temp equals to null so that will not solve my problem because i want to break this this link okay and to break this link i want to give the next to the null so my aim is to reach here so that's why I'm checking that check if next of this next and then again the next is null and if this is null then link for, then 
come out of the loop and give time dot next equals to null right and then return node i have the three link list three nodes in the link list now put a debug point here now it is checking that node is not null and node of next is not null now temporary variable so our temp is 12 so 12 so this exists right this condition fulfills it will again uh, iterate and now temp is 99 right and the next of temp is 37 and the next of 37 is null so it will come out of the loop and what it will do next is uh, 99 so like right now the next of 99 is 37 but it will put null so it will automatically break the link and return the node right so if you see then it will give you 1299 and it will print the link list as 1299 right and let's say if you again if you again do the same thing so and now let's have now let's run the program so you will see earlier uh, the link list was 12 30, 99 37 after deletion it became 12 99 and after deletion it again became 12 so we have successfully deleted the last node so for this tutorial that's it and in next tutorial we'll see that how to delete the front node and other positions so thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you.